Hello everybody, in this video we're going to go over how to change fonts in your big commerce store. Before we get started, my name is Cal, I am a developer, a store owner just like you, and I run an online community for store owners like us. I'll have a link at the end. Let me share my screen and show you some stuff. Okay, first of all, when we come into your big commerce store, you can click into, uh, let's see, storefront themes and then click customize. And you can see here that I am on Cornerstone on the Cornerstone Lite version. And if I click into, say, the header, for example, uh, let's see, where's the header? Let's see, oh, global styles. Oh, yeah, global styles. And I can see body text and links. And I have body text font family Carla. And I can do Carla, which actually looks all right. Uh, or Roboto or Source Sans Pro. Not a lot of choices, right? Three whole choices in a sea of fonts. So really, really the question we're asking is how do we add more choices than this, right? Because I'm imagining you're not watching this video because you want to choose between Carlo, Roboto, and Source Sans Pro. And maybe you have a different theme and has different choices, but you still want to do something different. All right, good news is it can be done. Bad news is has to be done in stencil local. Yeah. And the reason why is you have to edit your config JSON file, and that is not editable through the theme editor. So if you're, if you're not a developer, you're not doing stencil local, you might need to reach out to somebody to help you with this. But I'm going to show you how it works uh, so that you can kind of understand the options. And it's not that, not that tough once you get into it. All right, so I have downloaded this into my local and I have uh, ran my NPM install and all that kind of stuff. So I'm, I'm ready to go and I should be able to stencil start. Uh, while it's doing that, I'm going to go into config.json and we're going to look in here and I'm actually going to do a search for font. Oops, I'm in the wrong window. And I'm going to go up and I'm looking for this right here, body dash font and headings dash font. So BigCommerce is going to load two fonts, no matter what you do, they're going to load two Google fonts. And so I strongly recommend because Google is going to load, well, they're going to load at least one Google font. So you can make the two fonts the same font, make it so they only load one. But I really recommend just sticking with a Google font. They're super performant. Big Commerce is already set up and optimized to run Google fonts. So I think that we should just change this. So let's say we want to change the body font. And what we can do here is we can look at the naming structure where it says Google underline Carla underline 400. Well, Google means it's a Google font. Carla is obviously the name of the font and 400 is the weight. So say we wanted to load Carla 700 there for whatever reason. We could just change that to be 700. And when we save this and rerun it, it'll actually load that completely other font. Like this is all you gotta do. But you don't want a, a 700 font for your body font. So let's say we actually want to do enter font instead of Google. I'm sorry, instead of Carla. Um, now there are a couple different places where these fonts are referenced because there's multiple styles in here. So you can see that it actually finds four instances of body font. And so the first one is the general settings one. And then the second one is, uh, let's see. Oh, I'm sorry, this, this second one here is the light variant. Let's see what the first one was. I didn't scroll up far enough. Okay, yeah, no, I was right. First one is the general one, so this is like the custom one that's been applied. Second one is the light version. The third one is the bold version of Cornerstone. And then the third one is the warm version. Now, I always recommend you just roll with light, so you're always making that top choice. So what I would actually do is change on the general settings, the first instance of body font, change it to Google Enter. And on the second one, which is the light version, right? I would actually change that too. So I'm going to say Google 
enter 400. Then I'm going to re-stencil start. Okay. And there it goes. So if I look at my body font, go to inspect, and look at this, my computed font for this paragraph text is now font family enter. So that's literally all you gotta do to load this whole extra font because Google, uh, I'm sorry, Big Commerce has a script in the base HTML that says whatever Google fonts are supposed to load, go ahead and load them. <clears throat> so as long as we follow this naming structure, then it will load them just like it did here with this enter font. Now, if you're loading a Google font that has two words, uh, you have to look at the documentation. I think that you separate the words with a hyphen, so you just change the space to a hyphen, not an underline, but a hyphen. Mm, I could be wrong. But you can load any Google font on BigCommerce just doing that. Now, <clears throat> this, this does only affect my local instance, so I actually need to push this up into my store in order for it to uh, be enacted on the actual store. Okay, so it's pushing now. And when it's all done, it'll show up in my store. It'll have enter as a choice going forward. And life will be good. We'll be, we'll be rocking enter instead of Carla. It's super cool. Um, I'll just give it a minute and then we'll just double check it. Okay, so it's done pushing. And I'll come in here into the customizer and you'll notice that now where we previously had a selection that was showing here where it says body text font family and it said Carla, it previously said Carla right here because that was the selected state. But now we've overridden it so it's actually not gonna show anything here. Um, you could probably edit the UI here and have it be entered, but I don't think that that's necessary or recommended to be honest with you because it is and it is rendered. And if I come back here, let me go back to my front end. And we'll just confirm it over here. Let me go back to one of these product pages. Yeah, you can already you can already see it. Right here, font, family, enter. And so this is on the, on the public site. So we're good to go. So that is how you change a font. Now I do recognize it is a little bit Cody. So if you don't have Stencil Local, you're gonna need a developer to help you out. It is a pretty quick thing as you saw in this video. So you might be able to get an Upworker to help you. Or if you're interested in working with somebody on an ongoing basis, Call these guys over at Epic Design Labs. It's me and my team. We'd love to talk about whether it's a good fit to help you out. And um, whether you are interested in that or not, uh, you might be interested in joining our community at ecommerceamplifiers.com. I appreciate you guys being here. Leave me a comment if this was helpful. Let me know if it was helpful or if you're stuck on something else. And that might be my next video. Uh, thank you guys so much. And I'll see you in the next one.